Bila shaka yote asante sana mtazamaji kutenga muda kujumuika nasi leo ikiwa ni siku ya kwanza kabisa ya mwezi Oktoba mwaka 2021. Karibu sana katika mpango mzima wa Walk with Sagi tumekuwa nje e, kwa takriban wiki kama nne hivi lakini kwa mara ya kwanza tunarejea hewani mubashara na najua kwamba mko mimi na pia mimi nilikuwa nimewamisi sana yani I had missed you guys so much. We are happy to be back on the show live on Facebook and YouTube. Kwa hiyo kama kuna ambaye alikuwa anajua kwamba kipindi cha kisagini kila siku ya Ijumaa kwa majira saa mbili kamili waambie kwamba Jason Sagini askofu mkuu wa michezo ulimwenguni na kipindi chake cha Walk with Sagini kimerejea mubashara hewani. Kwa hiyo uendelea kuwa nasi mtazamaji. Karibu sana katika mpango mzima wa leo. Kama una kauli kama una swali yote ile kama pia una usemi wote ule basi usisite kuntumia ndani ya mtandao wa Twitter, Facebook na Instagram na nipata at Jason underscore Sagini at Njoroge underscore Dennis 2 hashtag inakuwa ni walk with Sagini. Kwa leo tunazungumza na rugby's uh, water buffalo anakwenda kwa jina la Alvin Otieno huyo ni mchezaji raga eh, katika timu ya taifa ya Shujaa anazungumzia Kenya Sevens na majuzi tu katika mkondo ule wa Vancouver Sevens alifanya mambo makubwa na si hapo peke yake manake pia katika mkondo uliofuata wa Edmonton Sevens pia alifanya makubwa. Je, Elvin Otieno aka Buffalo Je, ni nani? Yote hayo unayapata ndani ya mtandao ama unayapata na kipindi hiki cha Walk with Sagini kuanzia sasa hadi majira ya saa tatu kamili. Kwa hiyo mbona usigande nasi mtazamaji? Ndio mwanzo tu tupate kupasha misuli moto. Again meters from the line. Over the ball this one what? Oh sit down. Sit down says Alvin Otieno and finally they get to the line. Bila shaka yote mtazamaji ndiyo huyo na mihemko yake na mbwembwe zake akiwa uwanjani yani that's what the guy does when he is at his best yani akiwa kwenye ubora wake anaitwa Alvin Otieno also known as Buffalo Alvin kwanza kabisa thanks a lot for making time to talk to us this evening on Walk with Sagini for the first time ever unajumuika nami ndani ya kipindi changu cha Walk with Sagini show Asante uh, asante sana Nashukuru sana kwa kutenga muda wako na moja kwa moja nianze kwa kusema kwamba mashabiki ni wengi sana waliofurahia kwamba uh, Buffalo mwenyewe atakuwa ndani ya kipindi changu na atakuwa anazungumza nanyi kuhusiana basi na taaluma yake ya mchezo alianzia wapi amefikia wapi je malengo yake ni gani siku za usoni na je katika mchezo huwa raga je kitu ambacho kinafanya kimsukume kucheza raga kwa miundo mbinu mzuri sana ni kipi na niweze kwanza basi na swali moja kwa swali tu labda a general question uh, somebody who doesn't know Alvin Otieno also known as Buffalo or the Water Buffalo uh, give us a brief uh, background of your sporting career um kwa mwenye ni juu naweza sema je naweza sema um naitwa Otieno Alvin Otieno Alvin Ochien um uh, jina utani wata buffalo ama um, uh, buffalo um, rugby eh, rugby story yangu story yangu ni refu mm-hmm. story yangu ni refu sana um nikijaribu kuifupisha na nilianza rugby mkumu boys in mkumu boys eh? <clears throat> then nikakuwa sported na Kakamega High School so nikakuwa poch tu anasema anga kwa poch nikakuwa poch nikaenda Kakamega High School so from hapo ndio things zika zika open up for me kwa sababu in Kakamega tulikuwa tuna tuna win titles nationals tuna win East Africa tuna win um, my friendly zile mostly friendly tulikuwa tunaenda na shule tulikuwa tuna win so naweza sema in Kakamega um, hapo ndio ili ifunguka vizuri kwa zata in Kakamega ndio nikakuwa introduced to club rugby hiyo ni in western bulls uh, after high school of course nika join uh, club rugby sasa vizuri so nika join homeboys ndio hapo nika ingia national team sasa nikaingia vizuri kwa national team um right, uh, from hapo uh, from hapo ni history ndio mpaka sasa hivi tunaendelea bila shaka yote labda uh, outside rugby Did you try play something else apart from rugby before uh, starting playing rugby professionally? Um 
uh, this this was in primary school. I, I used to play football and I used to run a hundred meters. That is in, mm-hmm. in uh, Moy Forces Academy. But I kuwa mzuri sana. I kuwa mzuri sana. Ilikuwa tu ilia ya ku ni keep going tu ya ku ni fanya tu ni kuwe na 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 fanya kitu apart from soma tu chule. Bila shaka. Okay. Uh, what inspired you uh, to play rugby? Nini kile kusukuma na kika kuchochea? wewe kujiunga na mchezo wa raga uh, rugby hiyo ndio ilikuwa sport mzuri sana eh, shule hiyo time hiyo ndio ilikuwa inafanya vizuri sana ukiangalia in mkumu boys hiyo ndio sport ilikuwa inafanya vizuri sana sa hiyo mm-hmm. obviously hapo ndo ningekimbilia hapo ndo ningekimbilia kwa sababu mimi mtu napenda mimi mtu napenda sports yes mm-hmm. alafu kitu tena ile nifanya ni ni jua na ida nda nda kuwa nda kuwa nda kuwa naenda nafanya vizuri na e-sport um, ni walimu wangu kuna mwalimu fulani kaka mega anaitwa Mr. Eloba <laughs> eh, Mr. Eloba niongelesha akaniambia unaweza kuwa unaweza kuwa a very good player ukitilia manani so hiyo tena ndio kani ikanifanya oh by the way kama kuna mtu ameona naweza fanya vizuri mbona nisijikaze kwa nini <laughs> alafu ndio job yangu ndio kitu nimekuwa nimekuwa nime, nime kufanya from kitambo tu unaona from you oh. after after shule so lazima lazima ni ni tie ni KBD very nice na afurahi sana kusikia kwamba mchezo wa raga ni ajira kwako kwa asilimia moja maana yake kuna wengi ambao wanafikiria kwamba labda michezo siku zote ni ya kujifurahisha na si kazi ukiambia mtu kwamba ukiambia mtu asubuhi kwamba ehe um wale wana wana hiyo wana hiyo thought mimi naweza ambia waiweke mbali manze si uongo si ukweli si ukweli at all kwa sababu sport sport inalipa sport inalipa for real sport inalipa yes tunaweza kuwa na other things but sport sport inalipa sport inalipa hivyo naweza ambia Mm. Alright maana yake wakati mmoja nikimhoji eh, beki wa timu wa timu ya bandari eh, na mzungumzia Feli Mulumba aliniambia kwamba when he was starting playing football uh, he used to tell someone in the morning when he wakes, wakes up then he's uh, akona buti zake akona shingles kwa mgongo na jezi yake moja ambayo imechakaa chaka kidogo akielekea uwanjani mtu anamuuliza unaenda wapi anamwambia naenda ground cheza ball naenda tizi alafu mtu anacheka anasema ah tizi asubuhi unafaa kuwa kazini then he was like This is my job man. So akawa mm. anashindwa. Mbona mtu asichukulie kwamba michezo pia ni kazi. Kwa hiyo usemi wako siku zote na upa tiki kubwa kwamba ni kweli. Mchezo siku zote pia ni ajira kwa watu na wana mchezo wetu humu nchini mtazamaji. Ah uh, tuende katika swala hili labda uniambie uh, where did you get this style of play from? Because the name buffalo uh, I know an animal called buffalo is well known for mm. the strength the strength mm. and the and the ile nguvu yake yani na ukubwa na mm. wewe sasa nikikuangalia maana yake rafiki yangu mmoja kazini akaniambia kwamba eh, hajawahi kuona by the way mchezo wa raga na hajawahi kukuona wewe lakini aliposikia unaitwa buffalo na akaangalia posta akaona mwili wako akaniambia yenyewe eh. huyu jamani buffalo maana yake kutokana na mwili wake tu peke yake kikweli kwamba huyu ni nyati ni buffalo so Where did you how did you come up with that style of play a uh, style of play where you are very energetic and then you have the pace um um sisi semani ni 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 mimi kipyan kwa sababu pia ni ukiangalia vile nacheza ni kulingana na team tunacheza na tuko na tuko na ile set pieces nika play nika style of play on a team wana support eh, style yake ya ku play Messi ama very good ball carrier so mm. mostly unaniweka ile position nda nda ball carry mingi na ball carry mo ona mm-hmm. eh, so ni si mimi kivyangu ni team ni team ndio ina favor eh, team ina favor style of play yangu anasema hivyo oh. na hivi nilianza nilianza tu um, vile nilifunzwa rugby nikiwa introduced kwa rugby mkumu ilikuwa unashika ball unakimbia kwa mwenzako na mgonga so hivyo hivyo ndio i guess ika ika stick to ika stick to uh-huh. na mimi so nika nika get your skill ya kuweza kuevet mtu ku hand off mtu vizuri uh, so nika stick to kwangu so nika kwa style ya play yangu na 
Saibli nimesema um, team ndio ina favor hii play style yangu. Unaona? Okay. Eh, Wananiweka position ile da ball carry mob kwa sababu pia nikifanya hivyo nawasaidia nasaidia nasaidia team. Uh, bila shaka yote mtazamaji usahau kwamba hiki ni kipindi cha ukitsagini mtazamaji e, kama una swali kama una useme basi usite kunitumia ndani ya mtandao wa Facebook na Twitter nipata at jason underscore sagini at njoroge underscore dennis2 hashtag inakuwa ni ukitsagini leo tunapiga gumzo na one of the africa's best or the world's best i can say because sijawahi kuona eh, mchezaji ambaye ni mnyama kweli kweli si mnyama kwa njia mbaya mnyama kwa uzuri uwanjani manake mambo ambayo anayafanya makubwa kweli kweli. Labda nikupeleke nyuma uh, Buffalo mwaka na kumi na sita ulipocheza mchezo wako wa kwanza kabisa na timu ya taifa ya Kenya Sevens yani shujaa kule Hong Kong. Je, unakumbuka mm-hmm. siku hiyo na labda ningependa uniambie uh, how was the day like in that debut? Uh, ilikuwa feeling smart sana kusikumbuka hiyo ndio first time yangu ya kwanza first time yangu ya kwanza na travel na na seven still nimekuwa nikitrain now yes but first time yangu na, tra- na travel now first time yangu ndapo na ndege mara ya kwanza tulikienda tour na seven so ilikuwa ilikuwa experience smart sana na ilikuwa feeling smart sana ni ni kitu siwezi ni kitu siwezi sahau alafu kutop it up um tour ya kwanza tukacheza tukacheza tukaweka super performance tukaweza man, manage kufika quarters unfortunately tulipigwa na Fiji but hiyo iko tusimamisha kwa sababu the next tournament ah tulienda kama tumeshinda hiyo tournament so ilikuwa 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 outing smart sana kwangu I, mm-hmm. ilikuwa smart sana kwangu ndio nasema bila shaka maana yake umezungumzia kwamba the next outing uh, you went ahead and won still in the yeah, same yeah, yeah. yeah. same year yeah same same tour mm, same ilikuwa uh, hong tour. kong uh-huh. eh, ilikuwa hong kong singapore so in uh-huh. hong kong tuli tulicheza smart yes but tuka, tuka chapwa in the in the quarter in the quarter finals na Fiji mm-hmm. alafu in Singapore sasa tukapata na same same team that ili tutoa quarters na tukaishinda mm-hmm. so ilikuwa bila feeling sh- smart sana kama ruki bila shaka manake picha hii ya hewani mtazamaji mwaka 2016 Kenya Shujaa Sevens ikatua taji la pekee hadi sasa hivi katika msururu wa raga duniani wachezaji saba kila upande mkondo ule wa Singapore 2016 this will forever remain in our hearts as fans of rugby and as fans of sports in the country now alvin otieno you are part of this team that won the singapore sevens ebu kwa dakika mbili run through us ra, ra, run us through uh, the journey from the group stages to the final until you guys lifted the singapore sevens hello yes Umenipata? Eh umenipata? Um sije kupata umenipata umepotea kidogo. All right, tunasema kwamba uh, mwaka 2016 uh, picha hii ambayo iko hewani sasa hivi nazungumzia picha hii ya Singapore Sevens. At this time you were part of the team that won the Singapore Sevens. Kenya's only title until now in the HSBC World Rugby Sevens Series 2016. You were part of this team that won the Singapore Sevens. Kindly take us through uh, the the journey uh, in, the, in the in the in this title winning season from the group stage until the final until when you lifted the title. Um uh, this two tulikuwa na nani kwa pool tulikuwa um, I can't really remember the pool well but mm-hmm. kwa pool imagine atuku tuli atukushinda game yote kwa pool tuli I think tuli draw moja Mm-hmm. but finaliza kumbuka from quarter finals from quarter finals we were playing quarter finals we were playing france mm-hmm. uh, yeah, so france uh, france it was tight yes but we managed to win then on the same is to kapata na argentina argentina where legend mwenyewe colin sinjera akaweza kutu kutupeleka kutupeleka finals na ile ile sudden death ile drop goal naam uh, alafu sasa finals ndio tukapata na fiji sasa Mm-hmm. Uh, some, the main the main one the big one um na ikaanza ikaanza vizuri sana kwetu kwa sababu sindo tulianza ku score try ku score tries mm-hmm. na yodi yodi ndiye nakumbuka vizuri yodi ndiye alikuwa mtu wa kwanza ku score hiyo hiyo game um na tuliweza ku dominate sana hiyo game hata fiji 
hata kuamini hakuamini ili kuwa smart sana ilikuwa feeling smart sana one of the best feelings uh, indeed uh, in the rugby history in 2016 when Kenya won uh, the first and the remaining title in Singapore now nimekutoa mwaka 2016 sasa turejee mwaka huu and uh, this season you guys started well first of all congratulations as a team shuja for making us proud winning two medals in the first two opening uh, series in the HSBC World Rugby Series uh, in the Vancouver Sevens you guys won silver and then a week mm-hmm. later at the Edmonton Sevens uh, Kenya again won bronze now yes. first of yeah. all congrats you are part of this team uh, how oh, has thank this season you. been how has it been for you as Alvin Otieno in the first two opening opening uh, series of the uh, HSBC World Series um imekuwa imekuwa season smart sana kumbuka tumetoka from olympics yes we didn't give a good performance in the olympics but um ni ni part of sport ni part of sport um, kuna time inakata vitu zina zina zina, kuwa, zina look bad but kama mm-hmm. players no promise to good results um this season this season imekuwa imekuwa season smart sana kwangu um tumeanza tumeanza vizuri na kuweza ku manage ku maliza top 3 overall ndio mako teams azikuwa yes but tumeanza vizuri so ni season ni season naweza sema ni smart imekuwa smart sana kwangu imekuwa short yes but smart sana yeah. mm-hmm. kumbuka mtazamaji eh, tuna, tuna uh-huh. hope um, next season iki iki uh, with dubai um itakuwa better it, it can only get better even as a promise my fans wangu and the bila, bila shaka yote manake msimu huu ulikuwa na msurumi yule peke yake lakini kumbuka kwamba timu kadhaa hazikuweza kushiriki kutokana na basi na virusi vya covid na masuala ya usafiri hapa na pale na maana basi kwa kama kidogo timu kama vile Argentina haikuepo Fiji haikuepo yani timu nyingi hazikushiriki sana kwamba eh, virusi vya covid 19 umezungumzia yeah, umegusia umegusia swala la Tokyo kwamba Tokyo hamkufanya vizuri sana. Eh, labda nikupeleke kule pia mwanake mwaka huu pia tulielekea Tokyo timu ya taifa ya Raga Shujaa wakiwa kama wawakilishi rasmi wa bara Afrika lakini kufika kule eh, mambo ya kwenda sawa. Labda what lesson did you as a person or did you as a player learn or get from the Tokyo Olympics? Um lesson kubwa sana ni learn uh, kutoka Tokyo ni <coughs> Olympics ni a very different sport Olympics ni mwenye anaita kama um, sijui kama watu wanaweza nielewa but nikisema ndio ni same teams mnachezanga eh, mnachezanga nao kwa circuit but mm-hmm. ikifika hapo ni, ni a different ball game so, so Olympics ni ni mwenye anaita kama mo mwenye ana, anaita kama mo hivyo naweza sema so uh, um, going uh, going forward the the mistake mistake yes ilifanyika um atukuweza uh, fire vile ilikuwa ina, inafaa to fire but um, ni kitu ni kitu inaweza rekebishwa ni kitu tuna ni, ni learning process eh, kwa sababu pia pia wengine pia wenzetu tulitoza nao metrain na as nif tu wakipata to safe kidogo si wana, wana nini wana wanaweza win because ukiangalia game zetu atuku lose ati na, na mingi ilikuwa only a score a points five score five five points or two points so ni ni tunaweza correct ni kitu tunaweza correct na ni easy sana kwetu correct Mm-hmm. Bila shaka manake yeah. unapozungumzia Tokyo mtazamaji ni kwamba katika mashindano yale ya Tokyo mwaka huu Kenya haikushinda mechi yote lakini alivyosema kwamba walipoteza ndio lakini hawakupoteza kwa kukufa moyo mapema walipoteza wakifa kwa kupambana katika uga wa michezo na kama siku zote mtazamaji unapo umezoea kutumia mkono wa kulia kushambulia lakini unapobanwa basi inabidi utumie mkono wa kushoto bado turejea katika swali lile la Edmonton na Vancouver na miaka ambayo imepita hapa na pale nazungumzia timu ya taifa ya, shu, ya, ya, ya Afrika Kusini Blitzbox in Vancouver walikutana nyinyi ilikuwa ni katika finali ama ilikuwa wapi ilikuwa finali tulipatana nao group stage group stage na finali na finali zote yes. Afrika Kusini ikangara bado wiki moja baadaye 
wiki moja baadaye kuelekea Edmonton pia eh, kwenye nusu finali bado South yeah. Africa again beat us mm. now my question is you've played yeah. against South Africa all those times since 2018 2019 in the safari sevens in the cape town sevens you've played against south africa all that while now they seem to be a very tough side for us every time we meet them they beat us what do you think uh, where, where, where do you think the problem is and what do you think should be done to make sure that at least next time when we meet south africa we'll beat them mercilessly <laughs> Um, um yes wamekuwa uh, ki wamekuwa ki dominate games uh, the past games tumekuwa na, na, nao nazo um and of which we congratulate kama kama wana sporti ni ni, ni party ya sport ku lose na ku win ndio wamekuwa kipata hapa hand yes but um sikio inaka sikio inafika um ukiangalia the past games tumekuwa nao ni wana capital on our mistakes si ati wametushinda tu wana wanacheza mzuri ile mpaka watushinda wana capitalize on our mistakes and that is something we can correct just minimize our mistakes and uh, maximize on our strengths hiyo tu so na naweza promise naweza promise watu tuta tuta something good is coming something good is coming na tutaweza kuprasha tuweza kuprasha too much bila shaka yote mtazamaji lakini kipindi cha hoki tsagini na unapozungumzia Afrika Kusini Let's take a short commercial break na uangalie kitu hapa hewani kinasambaye maana kikirejea na rejea na mengi zaidi wa kwake Alvin Otieno. Tazama hii kabla ya kurejea tunapozungumzia Afrika Kusini Blitzbox maana yake unapozungumzia Blitzbox wana uhusiano fulani unaohusisha timu ya taifa ya Shujaa na pia inamuhusisha sana Alvin Otieno. Tazama hii. Sakuta put down. Counter from South Africa. Stage with the Kenyan side. And William Bucker's on the field. William Bucker, imposing frame. And they come here to the Buffalo. Oh, Stephen goes back for a haircut, but it's a Buffalo that keeps going. Otiano. Oh, and then he's picked up by Absalom. He smashed to the ground. Oh wow! It's shock week. The crowd absolutely erupting for that one. Penalty given, but how about this? Pedal. The bantamweight against the heavyweight and take a look at that knockout. Gets the leg, squeezes, turns and twists and wabo. Yeah, look now. You will not see a bigger hit on a buffalo even if he went to a safari in South Africa. That was brilliant. Clip it up for everyone around the world who's ever been told they're small. Take a look at that. I know these are not some of the best images that you love to see over and over again <laughs> Alvin but sorry for playing that video I had to play because I had a question <laughs> for that <laughs> uh, that is Justin Jeduld mtazamaji uh, anaitwa Justin Jeduld kutoka Afrika Kusini katika timu ya taifa ya ya Raga wachezaji saba kila upande wanazungumzia uh, Blitzbox hii ilikuwa ni 2019 katika mkondo ule wa Cape Town Sevens ambapo Bufa aliwatoka wawili watatu lakini wanne akawa ni Kisiki ambaye ni Justin Jeduld now Alvin I would like to ask you this is Justin Jeduld your toughest opponent you've ever faced is he uh, yes yes but wako wengi wako wengi wako wengi sana kuna Gedul kuna Jerry Twai kuna how do the kuna nani mwingine nani mwingine mta how on the sofa the encounter na naweza sema ni wa tough ni, ni tough sana ku, ku play against them kwa sababu they are very good playmakers they are good, very good at, uh, players na bado they are very good in their defense mm-hmm. on their defense so ni how are we need to say mandio the the toughest name encounter i want to mention doko bonga all right let, let me ask you one eh uh, wakati ambapo ulikuwa na kwenda kumbonda na kumkanyaga uh, jeduld wakati huo alafu <laughs> ukashangaa maana yake alikuinua juu na akakubwaga chini what went through uh, your mind at that time ah uh, nilikuwa nimesema aja aja nimeuza team mio ball ninge pass but nimeamua ku kuchukua matters kwa mkono yangu na hii ni muuza team but uzuri certainly pata penalty from hapo 
hiyo ilikuwa quarter finals ilikuwa quarter finals yeah yes. ilikuwa quarter finals against south africa huko kwao mm-hmm. cape town eh nilikuwa mm-hmm. nimesema aya nimeuza team hiyo ball ninge pass tu ama ninge karak vizuri icheze another face but nikaamua kuchukua matters <laughs> but ilikuwa hibu ilikuwa hibu sana <laughs> <laughs> It go aibu sana but nipatie game nipatie game ni nipata hapo <laughs> na hope next time dampata <laughs> you need to say but next time dampata all right what can you send uh, what message can you send to justin jedield right now ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, big gedul i'll find you i'll find all you right. yeah <laughs> All right, Justin Jedud from South Africa. Eh uh, taarifa umeipata. Uh, Alvin Otieno is uh, playing cool right now. Anajipanga kukutana nyinyi tena. Lazima uh, atawafanya kama alivyowafanya. Eh uh, sijui katika mkondo wa Vancouver na Edmonton alicheza. Hapana, ha, hakuwa, hakuwa. Hakuwa. All right. Uh, yeah. Sasa mtazamaji huyu anaitwa Justin Jedield wa Blitzbox wa Afrika Kusini. Now, uh, Alvin Otieno, maybe take us through your normal day uh, before a game. Let's say this weekend, let's say tomorrow you are going for the Dubai Sevens. Now, today, uh-huh. what, what do you uh-huh. do? Uh, normally uh, kama kesho niko na game. Uh-huh. So leo yote mute and cook ama kuona movie ama kuongea na my loved ones nika mom um, na my fiance labda sister yangu kidogo eh uh, game day game day during game day game day la inakonga na inakonga na na, na, na nika ka ritual lazima nionge na na mom asubuhi lazima tupige prayer asubuhi alafu mnaenda uh, kuona doc uh, no we, labda ni strapiwe kwa sababu unakonga na ma ku protect ankles lazima ni ni, ni, ni strapiwe ni nyingine anafanya anga game day kitu ya kwanza lazima nifanye nionge na madangu nikiamka lazima nionge na mama asubuhi tupige prayer alafu ndio ndakuwa good to go naweza fanya any activity eh, safi baada kuzungumzia hilo labda nije katika swala hili la mtu ambaye anakuinspire ama mtu ambaye anakuchochea katika kucheza mchezo wa raga who inspires you the most mwenye inspire mm this is rugby mm si lazima iwe raga eh popote tu pale mkimuziki labda anakuinspire katika mchezo eh <laughs> Iko na kweli. Sina, sina. Hawezi. Hawezi kosa role model. <laughs> role model wangu ni ni nani? Nilikuwa na nilikuwa nao lakini sasa nimekuja nikakuwa nikacheza. Role model wangu acha nipige story sasa. Mm-hmm. Eh nilikuwa na role model eh, wawili, Ayodi na William Baka. That is that was nikiwa high school. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa nasema Eh hey, natamani sana kucheza nao jamaa. Natamani hata nilikuwa na kitabu fulani. Okay. I textbook nimeweka nime nimeweka nime picha zao za gazeti ya Yodi na William Baka. Mm-hmm. So nikakuja and after shule nikakuja nikaweza kucheza nao. Sasa si na ini mo. Mm-hmm. Si na ini mo mtu ni inspire. Mm-hmm. All right. Ni hao tu. Wacha nisemwe hao wawili. Hao wawili ndio nilikuwa natamani sana kufanya kama hao. Um ukiangalia msanii wasani wasani okay wale napenda sisi ni Carol models wa watu napenda um, mwenye anafanya kazi smart ni Otile Brown napenda ngoma za Otile Brown mhm apenda ngoma za Papa Jones mhm napenda ngoma za Chapiti Chapiti ndio msanii wa gospel Chapiti hiyo ni yeah. mtu wangu mbaya napenda yeah. napenda ngoma zake kwa za kwa zime ni pamba aha uh-huh. ni hao tu All right yeah. asante sana kwa kusikia hilo Alvin Otieno mtazamaji yupo hewani sasa hivi anazunguza basi kusiana basi na safari yake katika mchezo wa raga maisha yake binafsi na pia siku za usoni je anaelekea wapi na je anatazamia nini mtazamaji kama una swali kama una usemi basi mtumie ndani ya mtandao wa Twitter na Facebook na Instagram nilipata at @jason_sagini at underscore sagini at @njeroge_2 #walkwithsagini now recently after the Tokyo Olympics eh, 
captain na holder fantastic Andrew Amonde akabwaga manyanga kwa maana kwamba akaweza eh, ku hang the boots yani he retired from international rugby now i want to you to tell me as a player there because you've played with him for a long time since 2018 yeah. until now since 2016 until now almost five years now you've played alongside Andrew Amonde now his recent retirement uh how do you talk about it will there be a missing pack or things are still fine in the national team um <clears throat> um services za andrew zilikuwa awesome sana andrew ni mtu ni mtu unaweza taka kwenda naye fight ni mtu unaweza taka akuwe na weka ndio yako uh, kila time unaingia kwa pitch kwa sababu unajua kile atafanya ni superb kile atafanya ni ni awesome sana. So okay. services zake yes zita zita zitakuwa zitakuwa missed yes but na uzuri ya uzuri ya ya e-sport um, ukikubali change inakuwa inakuwa pia more enjoyable si ndio? Kwa sababu mm. yes Andrew Andrew alikuwa analeta alikuwa analeta this kwa table but umbuka kuna mtu mwingine pia anaweza offer uh, services smart sana kama za Andrew ama aongeze PD. So services zake zitanidiwa. Yes. Um, zitakuwa missed. But tuta tuta maneuver around na tutapata njia ku, ya ku, ya ku go about it. Mm -hmm. Bila shaka mtazamo wake alikuwa na hodha wa timu ya taifa ya Raga wachezaji saba kile upande zungumzia Andrew Abonde. And now before i take another short uh, break i don't need to ask this maybe if you are not into rugby uh, alvino tieno i know definitely you would have been somewhere else and that somewhere else maybe could have been this Bila shaka I hope I got it right when I said uh, maybe if you're not into rugby you could have been a very professional dancer dancer a video vixen <laughs> <laughs> video vixen <laughs> bila shaka mtazamaji huyo ni Alvin Otieno wakiwa na mchezaji mwenzake ambaye anaweza sema kama ni rafiki yake wa kushibana rafiki wa kufa kupona uh, Jeffrey Okwacha Oluoch now Alvin mm -hmm. what can you say about Jeff Okwacha about Jeff yes who is he to you uh, Jeff ni ni Jeff ni ndugu yangu Jeff ni ndugu yangu mwenye sina kwetu tuko wawili mimi na msista yangu na mimi ndio the old old older one mm -hmm. um, so Jeff ni ndugu yangu mdogo kimiaka yes but kimawazo ni the bigger brother mwenye sina sijai kuwa naye um tulipatana na ye club rugby uh, that is in homeboys mm -hmm. na from hapo imekuwa smart sana na napenda play style playing style yake kwa sababu ni same kama yangu kwa sababu nataka ngadifanye vitu anafanya unaona unaweza sema sijui naweza explain aje ni ni mtu ni more than a brother kwangu ni more than a brother kwangu kwa sababu tuna share vitu most sana kaa niko na issues namwambia kaa ko na issues ananiambia so ni ndugu yangu ni ndugu yangu bila shaka mtazamaji hata nawe katika maisha najua mm. kwamba kuna mtu ambaye labda una mwenzi sana labda si rafiki mm. yako labda si ndugu yako wa karibu lakini ni rafiki yako lakini kutokana basi na urafiki wenu mzuri anakuwa kama ndugu na basi hali hiyo ndio sawa na yake Alvin Otieno na Jeff Okwacha Olocha ambaye pia ni mchezaji wa raga katika timu ya taifa ya Shujaa Sevens all the best to you guys when you uh, have and when you enjoy on and off the pitch now let's move on to the challenges you Asante. guys the sport uh 
what are some of the challenges that uh, Alvin you face in the sport? Challenge number one, kubwa sana ni injuries. Injury sana, injury, injury ni, ni normal sana. Ina ni tough sana kwa athlete, kwa any athlete. Um, nasema hivyo kwa sabu nimekuwa na, na injury. 2017-2018 season sikuwa kwa sabu ya, ya injury. Nilikuwa nime kata ACL, complete year of the ACL. So I had to, to be out for like six months. On a, so your six months with, with you not doing anything, come at least no mezea kucheza ni 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 very ni very depressing sana. Ni kitu inaza 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 kurudisha nyuma inaza kupatia setback. No masana injuries. Um, <clears throat> kuna kuna issues ni sisi ongelea kwa sabu siji kama inaza ni fanya ni kusane na wadosi wangu. Mm-hmm. Eh, ona issues kama na, na employment unaona mhm ni nyingine na sema tu hizo mbili ndio eh, challenges na face sisi ongea hiyo story na story you stuck kuko sana na employ, employees wangu yeah yeah very sure because uh, kipindi cha kutsagini si kipindi cha kugunganisha yeyote ni kipindi cha kuunganisha na kuendeleza michezo na harakati zile za mwembwe uwanjani mtazamaji uh, asante kwa hilo by the way nije kwa hili labda when you've traveled you've traveled uh, in so many countries in dubai in singapore in south africa in uganda in tokyo japan uh, now in this international major tournaments and major stages have you ever panicked before again eh, ku, eh ni, 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 ni normal ni normal ku panic ni normal ku kuwa na butterflies mm-hmm. hello yes nakusikia mhm hello um, ni normal ni normal ni normal ku panic ni normal ku panic hello. before a game kwa sababu hata ile kitu nakufanya kuwe ready si ndio kukuwa anxious ila ila kuonesha ehe ni tunaweza una care ona so ni it's normal it's normal ku panic na mimi u panic ni vile tunachuanga ku control so that's why dancing ina come in eh, niki dance at least na come na come my nerves unaona um hata niki try ku make some chance in a, in a, in a, in a, in a come na zangu so it's normal yes it's normal to panic mm-hmm. umetaja kusema dance na labda ni kuuliza ni sawa kuuliza hili eh, samahani mm-hmm. kwamba uh, where do you get your dance moves from dance moves zetu zinatoka kwa zinatoka zinatoka kwa Jeff eh. Jeff ndio <laughs> choreographer me ni a very good student eh yeye ndiye ana yeye ana yeye ana ana come up na dance dance style zote I love uh-huh. sisi tuna dance. Eh. Uh-huh. He's a very good dancer. <laughs> Nimeshika sasa. Mimi na mina jaribu, mina jaribu tu, mina jaribu tu. Mimi a very <laughs> good student. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you are you are very funny. Okay, hata nikuulize. Kwa hivyo kando kando na kando na team training, pia mko na training ya ku dance. Um Okay so training ya ku dance ni just kwa ku have fun ni just having fun after after every session ndio tunapenda eh uh, na boombox team boombox so no, normally tuna tuna kangoma then tuna have fun to ki dance not in si training training ya ku dance but mtu ana ana showcase ile skill ile ile anaweza alafu tuseme tukio changing room mtu anasema in case a score anaweza dance hivi in evo to so evo to tunakuanga Mm-hmm. by the way na fresh mm-hmm. manake pia katika team yote ile eh, najua kwamba there must have be that one player who kazi yake siku zote ni kuchangamsha wenzake labda um, kama mmepoteza na muanze kucheza dance basi huwa inainua morale inafanya timu isahau matatizo yaliyopitia mm-hmm. uwanjani walipopoteza na walipopigwa kwa hiyo it's a very good thing that you are doing uh, Alvin Otien now Uh, the season is over that uh, that is the new season uh, for the HSBC World Series you are from Tokyo uh, two months ago and now we are waiting for the Kenya Safari Sevens 
29 days to go here in Nairobi, Kenya. Now, ahead of the other events that are coming up, uh, what are your realistic targets, uh, hopes, and dreams beyond where you are at the moment? Pardon? Nasema kwa msimu msimu wa 2021 umeshaisha wa HSBC mm -hmm. World Series ilikuwa short ndio na mmetokea tu katika makala yale ya Olimpiki kule Tokyo na sasa mnajiandaa kwa makala yale ama msururu ule wa Safari Sevens hapa Nairobi only 29 days to go to the start of the Kenya Safari Sevens now what are your dreams and uh, realistic targets ahead of the next tournaments to come in Kenya and uh, beyond Kenya um Uh, for us tunaangalia tunaangalia preparation yetu tuna tuna tume take lessons from uh, from the previous games tumekuwa nazo na previous preparations tumekuwa nazo um, so what we are uh, we are hoping to do as a team ni ku better our performance then that is to improve uh, ku improve on uh, vitu tulikuwa tunafaa kufanya Uh, tukiwa the, the previous tournaments yes and uh, promise lens apatia watu ni a step at a time eh to tumeanza kuwapatia good results yes so tutaanza na hii safari sevens we try and defend it and um the coming se the coming circuit the coming season um tuna promise good results um kwa sababu the team ile iko ni a very strong team ni a very um ni a very very beautiful team ni na it a very good results hiyo tunaweza sema abila shaka now there's a question that i normally ask every each and every of my guests here on the show uh regarding education and sports i understand that uh hautacheza uh, mchezo raga maisha yako yote itafika no, wakati ambapo no. itafika wakati ambapo itabidi umestaafu na itabidi ama miaka itakuwa imekwenda sana. Sasa labda when it gets to that time when uh, you won't be able to play rugby forever. Uh, what are your plans when you retire from rugby? Um hata sahi sahi bado na nafanya na nafanya plans langu apart from rugby. Yes, rugby ni job yes, but sana niko na part time. After after training after rugby na kuja na niko na niko na kuku na niko na dogi ama mm -hmm. poultry farmer na ama uh, breed dogs so part time after rugby kile nafanyanga ni kuja kuchunga wanyama wangu mhm mm uh, right. the side hustle yangu uh -huh. that's a very good plan because uh, in farming uh, that's a very big investment in terms of yeah. uh, uh, future plans uh, to yeah, grow yeah. and develop yourself in terms of education wise maybe you can tell us uh, do you hold any 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 accolades um niko na diploma in ICT nilifanya ilikuwa 2015 2016 nikiwa KTTC niko mm -hmm. gigiri mm -hmm. very nice KTTC pale ambapo uh, klabu ya AFC Leopards ingwe huwa inafanyia mazoezi hapa gigiri tu ndio ambapo alifanya basi taaluma yake ya ICT Alvin Otieno now quickly a quick uh, Fire question trivia where I normally ask uh, every guest uh, who is your best teammate I know this is a tough question but uh, who is My your best, best teammate Yes Yangu sin Rais Yangu sin Jeff Jeff okay by the way Yangu sin Rais Yangu sin Rais Yangu sin Rais sana by the way now uh, your your worst ever moment with the, the Kenya Sevens or in the rugby scene nigan your worst ever moment my worst my worst moment na bado ni fia yangu ni nilipata injury in 20 20 2016 2016 2017 hapo so you know the worst moment yangu nilipata ilikuwa nakuru um it was april it was it was in april 2017 mm. <laughs> that is my worst moment na my worst fia ni kukuwa na injury kwa sababu hiyo niko yuko left out una, nika unaanza utaanza fresh sasa kweli kabisa na Mungu akuepushe basi na vizingiti hivyo vya majeraha katika mchezo wa raga your best moment best moment 
best moment ni Vancouver tukiwa Vancouver this year ijuzi tukiweza kupata silver mm-hmm. kwa sababu ni ilikuwa new team and kumbuka hii ni feeling smart sana nimeingia ni hii ni, ni, ni smart sana kwa sababu ukikompare hii na 2016 tukifika final last time nikiwa final finally HSBC hii nilikuwa nilikuwa among among the, the starting starting lineup compared to yeah. the nilikuwa from the bench so the best feeling ilikuwa hii hapa kuweza kufika panali kuimba national anthem eh, tena kwa is kwa your stage nilikuwa feeling smart sana kwa ni best moment yangu mm-hmm. eh, bila shaka na furaha sana mnake mambo ambayo unayafanya uwanjani siku zote inazidi kutupa mihemko na moral sana kama mashabiki na pia kama wanahabari. Niseme asante sana Alvin Otieno kwa kutenga muda kuzungumza nasi ndani ya kipindi cha Walk in Sagini leo Ijumaa. Uh, many thanks for making time to talk to us and I wish you all the asante. best on the pitch and off the pitch. Asante sana. Say hi to all your friends sakina Jeff Oloch waambie by the way Oloch next time inafaa take yeah. time Uh, kuja bonge na sisi hapa tufunze ku dance. Oh, okay sawa 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 sawa. Sasa muombia. Because pia sisi siko hapa tuko vizuri ku dance lakini tukipenda kujua <laughs> eh, kucheza dance. Au sio? Ah oh, uzuri uzuri sana. Ndio muombia. <laughs> Kweli kabisa mtazamaji nasema asante sana kwa kutenga muda pia nayo maana yake bila wewe mtazamaji sisi hatupo na kwako kutenga muda kutotazama kuanzia majira saa mbili hadi saa hivi niseme asante sana kwa kutenga muda wako shabiki shakiki shabiki sugu wa kipindi cha kupita gini nimerejea tena kwa mahanjam kwa hiyo wiki ijayo tena siku ya Ijumaa nitakuwa hapa na mgeni tofauti kuzungumzia basi maswala ya michezo humu nchini na pia barani Afrika na pia nje ya bara la Afrika mimi naitwa Jason Sagini askofu mkuu wa michezo ulimwenguni na kuacha na hii ambayo imefanywa naye Bufa Otieno mnake kama hangalikuwa ni mchezaji wa raga kama hangalikuwa ni mchezaji densi basi angekuwa basi yeye ni pasta ama muhubiri katika <laughs> nyanja huko <laughs> nchini ama nje ya bara Afrika na ama nje ya dunia mtazamaji kwa heri ya kuondoka na kuacha na hii yake Alvin Otena kiwa yeye ndiye choir master praise and worship team <laughs> Ah! Uh-huh.